I'm from Germany and I'm 17 years old. I live in a village of three or four thousand people. Um, my father is a teacher and he told me a lot about the Holocaust and things that happened. I have grandparents that in a way don't talk about it and older people don't, don't talk about it. Holocaust and what happened because they're scared. A lot of them just say they didn't know what happened and like my grandma tells me she thought that all the Jews were brought to America. We had a lot of we had a lot of Jews in my village and a lot of them were rich. Most of them were rich. There were like three families that have been li have been living there for a couple hundred years and really were into the village, like integrated, and nobody knows what happened to them. And just one lady that was left over, and she died a couple years ago. You said that there were there was a Jewish cemetery even in your village. Mm -hmm. We have yeah, we have Jewish cemetery, and it's not very big, like 50 or 60 gravestones, and I think six or seven families, like always the same name occurs and it's pretty pretty run down right now because nobody is doing anything for it because we don't have Jews anymore and I think we had we had a Jewish community with a synagogue, synagogue? <laughs> and but I mean not in your time down. no not in my time everything is torn down in 19 39. Everything, nothing is left over. As you were growing up, do you recall when you first became aware of things that had happened? My, my parents started telling me about it like in third grade. It wasn't to avoid because you see it on TV, you read it, people tell you about it. And when I first heard about it, I was really shocked and I really, I didn't know everything. I just knew a lot of people were killed, and one man did it. Like, people told me Hitler did it. And I was really... I went to this Jewish uh, cemetery, and I looked around, and I didn't believe it. And my dad told me about it, and like in fifth or sixth grade, we started talking about it a little bit in religious education. I saw it was the time I think in 1980, maybe a little bit earlier, we had a movie called The Holocaust. But my parents told me you don't have to watch it because it was really bad. And did you watch it? I saw. I didn't actually see how people were killed. I saw these. I remember these pictures of. Um, walls and people standing there being killed, but I just saw pictures. And I remember um, people laying on top of each other, killed dead people, dead bodies, hungry people starved to death. That's what I saw. But and it bothered you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and I saw these experiments, like some doctors did, with twins. That's what I saw. And I didn't really, I don't feel responsible at all. When I, when I talk to my family, I think my dad has a closer relationship to it because he knows, like, not actually his dad. My grandpa was in the army, he says. My family doesn't have anything to do with it directly. But I don't know, like, my, my uncles and... 
neighbors, and I don't know who did it, and it's closer to my dad because it's his generation, his parents. And do you see any regret, or do you see just that people don't want to talk about it? When you ask older people, they tell, they tell you they didn't know. And I don't know whether I can believe it or not. I live in this village, and it's, it's not a big city, and I don't know what they did. I, I love my grandma, and I cannot believe that she supported it. But in a way, I don't believe her when she tells me she thought everybody went to America. I don't know what to believe. I just know that people just don't want to talk about it and want to forget it, and suddenly nobody did it. I remember a story. In, a, in my village, there was a family, and they were really patriotic, and they loved Hitler. And the young, the young son was in the party and supported Hitler, and his mother, his own mother, said one time that she questioned it, and she wasn't sure whether it was right what they were doing. And this man went to the party and told on her. And there was this twist in between the families. I mean, it has to be, it must have been really radical, what people thought. You can't, it's hard for you to imagine today. I cannot imagine to tell my mother. I mean, how strong we have, have do I have to believe in something? tell my mother. Yes. What, what is, is your life there like here? You went to high school here for a year. Would it, is it similar there where you live? What young people do and how they feel and how they act? American kids are more influenced by, I mean, everybody's influenced by society and I think American society is more materialistic that Kids have to have a car and have to have a whole bunch of clothes, but what we don't do, we don't work. As long as you go to high school in Germany, you don't work at all because you, you go to school and you do your homework and most of the time you're involved in something, but you don't grow up as fast as American kids do. That's the difference. How about your social life? Would you find it different? No. Not so much? No. I mean, you have friends and you do things you like. I think I personally, I'm, I'm more outside than American kids are. I have to ride my bike because I don't have a car. And I live in the country. I don't know. Well, you found, um, did you find the American patriotism different than what you see in Germany today? Um, yeah. Like, we, we are still, we still have our history, like the 40s, and we question our government more, it seems like, and like, I'm a patriotic, not too much, like, I'm scared to stand up for, for the anthem, because it's the same anthem they sang like 40 years ago, and I cannot say Germany is the greatest, because you never know what's going to happen. I don't think anything will ever happen like it happened before, but you cannot say, we are the best. And there are still a lot of people alive who did things to the Jews, whether they regret it or not. And as long as this, this exists and people accept it, I cannot be proud of my country. Although I think, I mean, the younger generation has don't think about it anymore. They don't. They are not prejudiced anymore. You don't think so? No. But but do they carry a certain burden because of what happened to the young German person today? Like I feel that in a way I would like to go to Israel and in a way I would like to do things. I would I would like to help them. But I I didn't I didn't do it. I just. I try to make the world better than it is, but I don't want to change it totally, you know? It's just, I want to show, I don't want to think Jewish people, everybody in Germany is like they were, but 
I don't know what to do. Do you see? Do you see any signs of how something like that could have come about at that time? Um, my grandma told me that Jewish people were nice, but they took a lot of money. They were rich. Supposedly they were smart. They were different. They. I don't know. They weren't accepted because they had another religion, because they really seemed to practice it really hard. And they didn't fit in then. People so were jealous. People were jealous. So that made it easier for mm -hmm. them to be like a scapegoat. For yeah. Um, do, you, do you see um, signs today you don't see signs of the same things in the young people, you don't think? I think all over the world, they, um, people become more radical right now. Like in Germany, we have a lot of Turkish people, a lot of Turkish people, because we needed people who helped to rebuild Germany after the Second World War. And suddenly we have unemployment and too many people in Germany. and economically we are not that strong anymore as we used to be and suddenly people start to discriminate against Turkish people because people who came over from Turkey were not rich they had to come to Germany to to earn money and a lot of them like live really really poor and sent their money over to Turkey and suddenly we say we don't want them anymore and a lot of people don't think it's right I mean it's not right and they cause problems like in the schools it is hard to teach regularly, I mean normal, when there are some kids who don't know the language very well. So you have a different discriminations yeah. now because there's different problems. But not halfway, halfway as bad as one of the Jews, no. It's just starts out like Americans, a lot of Americans discriminate against the blacks. There's always a distance between races. Yeah. But do you feel that, that feeling, that, that superiority feeling that, that existed in, during the Second World War of the German, you know, ruling groups, do you feel that today? I don't, but I see that some people have it. But when I see who has it are people who are unemployed, who don't try to improve themselves, who have to have somebody who is poorer and worse than they are. If you met someone today that spoke of, against Jews in Germany, would, I mean, even though there aren't any in your village, would you be able to speak up and yeah. say this is wrong or something? Yeah, definitely. And I think most Germans would do that because we are really scared. And in a way, I, I don't feel really guilty, but I feel responsible for not carrying it on. I mean, that's our responsible, responsibility right now, not to carry it on. We cannot do anything against what happened because it happened and we came too late. And I don't blame anybody who lived in this time period and didn't speak up because it was dangerous to speak up. You don't find today your life is so much influenced by it, by what happened, only in certain ways? Not really. It's just we don't have Jews anymore. And in a way, when I see like the cemetery, it was pretty and I think they, they had part in our culture and it's not there anymore and I think it's a loss. You must not say that you now walk the final way because the darkened heavens hide the blue of day. The time we've longed for will at last draw near. And our steps as drums will sound that we are here. From land all green with palms to lands all white with snow. We now arrive with all our pain and all our woe. Where our blood sprayed out and came to touch the land. There our courage and our faith will rise and stand. 